Hello, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope um, your postman's okay and you haven't had to carry too many, uh, too many of them letters and uh, cards and things like that. Mixed emotions today for Damp Sam. I don't know whether that's better or, or worse. Mixed emotions today for me. Happy because it's uh, Valentine's Day and... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why you're happy it's Valentine's Day, but anyway, so, you know what I mean, it's uh, it's another reason to get a card. <clears throat> Sad, because um, just before Christmas, um, I was driving, driving around, uh, driving around bars, I was going to jobs and things like that. Well, I'll start at the beginning. So, the, 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 there was this guy, uh, and if you live in Barnsley, you might have seen him, and I drive all of her and uh, they uh, the guy used to fix traffic lights so at the bottom of our road he always used to be there if traffic lights went down and you'd see him everywhere he used to have um, grey hair he used to have a pair of glasses on and they used to have like these chains here and he used to, he used to take them off and then he'd put them on and, and when you're waiting at traffic lights I used to see him and I've seen him for for years around Barnsley area, um, every time traffic lights go down, you, you'd, you'd be queuing, and, you, and you'd see old guy. Uh, you couldn't miss him. A bit, a big guy he was, um, and he. Um, as I say, it, over ten years, it might, it might have been longer. It might have been fifteen. It could have been twenty. I kept seeing this, this guy, different traffic lights as I'm driving round, uh, and I, and I'd. Be, Telling lads and saying oh, he must just he must cover Barnsley area because I see him all the time. He, he this must be his patch. Every time they go down, you send him out. He used to have this white um, white card. I don't know who we work for. And he'd have his little ladders, and he'd be up sort of mending fire, and then he'd be at, at box. Um, whenever they put new traffic lights in, he'd be there doing sequences and everything. Um, well, <clears throat> just before Christmas, I was going to. Uh, I, I, I was going somewhere and, and I think it was it in daytime and uh, and I got to Cutting Edge and I'm driving down past Cutting Edge and I, and I saw his his car and these ladders and um, and when I looked down he was on the floor and there were some people around him on the floor and it was obvious something had happened he'd, he'd fell off his ladders or he'd collapsed or something and um, and I was also wondering, you know what I mean? What, what, I wonder what happened to him. I wonder if he's had a heart attack. I wonder if he's he's fell and somebody's he's, he's, he's banged his ear. And anyway, so I pulled up here at, at, at Costa today, and, I, and I'd seen car, seen his car across road, um, and guy at traffic light box. He's the glasses on, grey hair, biggest bloke. I don't know, I don't know, I'm I'm going to go over and I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to I'm going to tell him that uh, I, I saw him on the floor. So I goes over and I and I says, I says, were, were you at Cutting Edge on uh, just before Christmas? Uh, and I explained to him that I was driving past, and he says, no. He says, and he was a bit candid, and he goes, he says, he fell and he and he, he banged his head. Um, the old guy, I don't know what they call him, um, and he's been in a coma since, uh, well, since it happened. He's been in a coma since it's happened, uh, and he died yesterday. And he's like, all right, do you have now? Like, you know what I mean? It, I just decided to go over and ask it. Uh, well, ask this lad, and it happened yesterday that he died. So, and because I used to see him all the time, it was like you know a friendly face, um, and they tell me he died. It was like a bit, a bit of a sledgehammer. I don't, I don't know. Why I didn't know, bloke, but I, I've seen him over all these years. You know, ten, fifteen years, um, and for it to have been yesterday, it's just it's just a weird one that I. You know, I, I, I I thought I've had to go over. Have I not? To I've gone over. Uh, yeah, he passed away yesterday, apparently in hospital, and he never regained consciousness. And he says, D "Did you see what happened?" And I says, "No." I said, I, "As I came past, there were some people around him, and um, and he and he were on the floor, obviously in distress. So they didn't know what, what's happened to him. I don't know whether there's going to be an inquest once he's uh, now, nah, but um, so uh, mixed emotions." Happy this morning to uh, to see Postman struggling with all his bag full of mail, you know, all, all damp Sam fans and that that's out there, all lasses sending things and sending me cards. I mean, Mel don't get, you know, Mel's not very happy. 
You know what I mean? And it's sort of one after other after other cards, and I'm and I'm there. My fingers are look. My fingers are absolutely. I've got calluses on them. We're opening all paper and opening all cards, but that's what you get when uh, you know when you're uh, when you get popular on damp on Dam Sam's channel. So. Uh, so there's a big thank you for everybody that sent the cards in and that and uh, you know if I don't get round to replying to you it's a big thank you from from all us at All Dry although um, I think they were sent to me cards um, so it's a massive thank you and um, save your money next time don't be sending cards just you know send me a, a just send me a, a tweet on here or put a, a reply you know happy Valentine's Day and uh, 23rd it's my birthday, so uh, yeah, I'm forty. So um, I forty, yeah, forty again. So you can say happy birthday on here for twenty uh, third of February. And it's twenty three is a special number apparently. That's why all footballers wear it. So there you go. It's a sad uh, bit of a sad video, but I thought well I'll just share this story. Ups and downs of life in it. So. Uh, Condolences to his family, whoever he was, um, and uh, yeah, I mean he was an oldish guy, like sort of, it, 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 but he must have been near retirement age. So uh, anyway, on that note, uh, enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day. I'm sure you'll have a nice big cooked meal and a, a steak or something uh, planned with your other half, a bottle of wine. So don't get too uh, carried away tonight, and make sure you're fit for work in the morning. Adios.